today I am talking to you about the Peak Design Travel Tripod. Oh, you're still here. Welcome. First up, the one objection that I see absolutely everywhere online is that this is a $600 tripod. And while that might seem absolutely crazy, it really is kind of a one-time purchase that this is a lifetime guaranteed product. So you buy it one time, all the parts are replaceable and it'll never end up in a landfill. The other thing that I see a lot is that the plate that comes in it, the tripod plate is a hex plate. So you need a little tool. You can be like Tim, our friend Tim, here's a file photo, who has the hex tool actually on his keychain, which is, is fine if you're out there and you got a lot of Peak Design products. Or you can just get a tripod plate that is just the screw plate or anything that's Arca Swiss compatible, even though I don't believe that Arca Swiss is globally universal. It's kind of, I feel like I have like three or four different Arca Swiss style plates. Looking at the box or, or the tube, I guess, uh, it's actually constructed from unicorn fur. Unicorn hair? They'd have hair, they're like a horse. And it smells, it, it smells of Scotland because the unicorn is actually the official animal of Scotland. Did you know that? That's a real, that's a real fact. It's a real fact today. And uh, here we go, opening the box. The first thing that I notice is that I was nervous that it was gonna be too heavy and then I pulled it out of the box and I feel like these almost weigh the same. I'm so happy. I, I was kind of nervous that I was gonna have to bring that up at the end, but um, the box has some weight to it because of the unicorn hair. I guess unicorn hair is heavier than traditional cardboard or cardstock. And uh, this is kind of the perfect size package. This is everything that I wanted. So pretty much from a tripod, what I want is something that fits into an easy carry-on suitcase and also doesn't have to do the flip because I find that it's just, it's, maybe it doesn't take that much time to, to flip the tripod. What I'm talking about is when the, the head flips over and you have to put the legs up above to conserve space. This just, just opens, you just, it's just set up. I feel like this is, this looks like a hat. One of the other really cool things is that if you are part of the Peak Design ecosystem. What a great time for a commercial. Eat it Taco Bell. Which means if you have one of their bags already, with this very easily, Maybe you might need a table for this, uh, for this demonstration. So what that means is that you can just kind of go up through here and then you can clip it up to the top of your backpack here. I also highly recommend the Everyday Backpack. This is my favorite backpack that I've ever owned. And right now, you can tighten it up a bit. It's a fine little package. The other thing you might notice is that it's actually really cool because you can actually get the tripod out well the bag is still on it. So if you wanna get access to your tripod, you don't have to tear everything apart. And I feel like when you're out, and specifically my style of kind of travel photography is that I don't always use a tripod, but when I need one, I really do want it to be as easy as possible to use, as lightweight and not to take up space from things that I would otherwise prefer to bring with me. Uh, so this kind of checks all those boxes for me so far. And like the zipper up here on the everyday backpack, this is just kind of weather sealed, so you can't, you know, it's not gonna get too wet in here. Let's, uh, let's pull the tripod out. Pulling the tripod, it feels, you get, see my face? That was the first time I've touched this. And it feels, I've never owned a nice tripod and I've been a photographer for quite some time. It really does feel, it feels like a premium product. It is a, definitely a premium product, but everything feels better than you could ever imagine. I feel like that's kind of the same with the everyday backpack is that you're like, why did it cost so much money? And then you get it and you're like, oh, like every little tiny texture has had thought and effort put into it to make it as good as it can be. Now with the hang tag here, you have a few options. One, you can just get rid of it, or two, you can actually keep it because I've noticed specifically with that backpack is that there's a lot of helpful stuff in here that when Peak makes products, they, they put all that information into this little tiny, tiny guide of pictures. So if you throw this out, you might spend a couple of years just not using a functionality that you really wish that you could have had all that time. So actually read the, the Peak Design manuals. Right here is the tool that you can use to put your camera on or off the plate. I feel like it fits nice and secure in there. I've read some, some stories of people losing these. If you feel like you're gonna lose it or if you see it pop off or um, however you're transporting it, if you're not transporting in the bag, maybe take this off and put it somewhere safe. And it's a five section tripod, which means, um, actually that feels really nice. So I was kind of nervous. Um, I'm maybe a little bit more of a fan of kind of the screw to locks, uh, just in, as far as just ergonomics of setting things up. But that's actually really easy. I would say that this is just equally as efficient as setting up um, any sort of screw lock. You just grab everything with one hand. And also if you want to adjust the tightness of these, you can actually use the tool and there's a little hex in here that you can just kind of tighten or loosen based on your specific needs and wants as a, as a person that I feel like they're, they come out of the box like pretty, pretty great. Like the backpacks, like their bags, everything just feels nice. Like that's, like this is a very, very rewarding noise. 
It really is just all the nice finishing touches that you're going to appreciate over the rest of your life with this once in a lifetime purchase tripod. So it does, the, the, the claim is that it fits into the size of kind of a water bottle. It's, I don't, I don't really own a whole lot of water bottles. I think it's pretty close. It's definitely small enough for me to fit into either my backpack like that or into a standard carry-on size suitcase. Um, it's very, very compact. So as I spoke to a little bit before, I don't love it whenever you have to kind of invert the, the main column in order to kind of stack it because usually what happens is that the ball head has to fit kind of right here in order to get as small as possible. I like the fact that I can just open this and it's just ready to go. Maybe that's not the biggest deal in the world, but usability wise, it's nice. To, it feels more of a, a linear process. It feels like it's just nice to have the feet touching, touching the feet, the, the, the foots, the, the three feet of the tripod. Um, they're very, very nice. And basically the, the reason that they're designed from this material is specifically because the way that you get vibration into a tripod is usually by the feet. So this has been specifically chosen to minimize vibrations. All right, so opening up this tripod, it feels incredibly stable. And the button on the side, what it does is it just allows you to move the column or tighten it up so that you can't move the column. If you want to flip to portrait orientation, uh, you have to move it up just a little bit. But what I like about this is that it just comes stock, just bubble level perfect. So there is a bubble level on here, but if you're at minimum height with this column and all the legs are extended equally, you will just be exactly level. So again, startup time going from your bag or your, your backpack or your suitcase to actually taking images and having everything level. It's just such an easy linear process. If you want to add a little bit more weight, a little more stability to this tripod, there's a clip here. You can hang your bag right here like this. Now it's a little, little more, even more stable, but by no means does it feel unstable without that. Inside the center column, there's actually a, a phone holder. So if you want to put a phone on your tripod to take some, some selfies or thumbnails, like I have to for, for YouTube videos when I'm out there alone, Hold your phone, take your YouTube thumbnails, and you too can have a YouTube channel. This goes in the center. And now, let's put a camera on it. Here we have the Nikon Z6. Quick release, very easy to use. And then you just rotate this from unlocked to locked. And now your camera's not gonna, not gonna fall off. If you wanna put your camera into portrait orientation, there's a little rubber ring here. You just loosen it, and then you just tighten it. This rubber ring controls that. Very easy to do. And again, whenever you go back to the minimum distance here, it just makes it perfectly horizontal. Definitely easy to use. And also one of the, the huge benefits, at least for, for myself, is that with my old travel tripod, while it was again, small and light and easy to bring with me, the main problem was that as soon as you basically, if, even if you had this 24 to 70 on here, and this isn't really that heavy of a, of a kit, but as soon as you'd put something of this size on it, you'd start to just get a little, little bit of movement um, and a little bit of kind of movement over time. So if you were doing a 30 second exposure, even if I cranked it as tight as I could possibly have gotten it, uh, it would still just kind of move a little bit. And if I was on a 7200, there's really no way I could possibly keep that level unless it was just straight horizontal, kind of perfectly balanced. But this opens up a lot of different opportunities. Now let's talk about height. It goes this high. That's all for, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so as a travel tripod, as a, a landscape tripod, I will never have a need for anything taller than this. For actual, if I was using this on a wedding day, I would need a tripod that goes up a lot higher. But again, with that, there's no way you're gonna get that into a package with the size of a water bottle. Now the opposite of height, if you want your camera as close to the ground as you possibly can get, uh, one, you can just flip this so that your camera is actually hanging from the column inverted upside down here. Or what I'll be doing is just going into low mode. Now to get into low mode, you put the legs out like this, you open this up, slide this out, you slide the ball head off and there's a little screw just on the side here. Now all of a sudden you have this incredibly stable tiny little tripod here, which is helpful for, I don't know, if you're shooting Northern Lights and you wanna get really close to the water so you get that nice perfect reflection of all the, all the lights up there, you can, just, you can just do that. So that is all for my walkthrough of the Peak Design travel tripod. It will be the tripod that you'll see me using in all future videos all around the world once we're allowed to leave the studio and, and hang out with our friends again. Another, another little tripod hack is if you're ever like, oh, I just don't have a steady cam. What, what can I do? You can just kind of rotate this. Here's your discount budget steady cam. There you go. You get your camera op now. No problem. What you need, you need those walking shots. It's not going to quite be a gimbal, but it's better than nothing. So uh, Peak Design travel tripod slash makeshift gimbal. You'll be seeing this tripod in all of my future videos. It's going to be the one that I'm just using all of the time because I have it now. Again, once in a lifetime buy, all the parts are replaceable. And the thing that I love the most is that one, it fits into the size that it should. Two, that it's the weight that it should be. And as soon as I took it out of the box again, 
happy that it's this weight. Three, the linear process in which everything sets up. And then I guess my number four is the fact that it can actually hold up to 20 pounds of weight. So regardless of what you put on this ball head, you're gonna get you're gonna get something nice and stable. And if you're interested in buying this, you, there's a link in the description below that you can you can't buy this one because I this one's mine, but there are others available for sale if you go to the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you uh, see you next time on YouTube.